the right honorable speaker. I stand here to nominate our elder and great friend with a vast experience. Honorable, would you like to wear your mask? A lawyer by profession, the Honorable Moses Ali. Would you like to speak to your motion? Right Honorable Speaker, my candidate, who until recently was the first Deputy Prime Minister Moses Ali, is, in my opinion, the best person for that position. It shall be recorded, right honorable speaker, that the person I'm naming, I want to ask to drag her to the chair, was a minister during a ministry regime. <laughs> this great son of Uganda, has been part of the wars of liberation. It would be very sad, Mr. Speaker, if we have some aged leaders that we deny them another person of the same age, Moses Sari. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I'm fighting discrimination of the old people. That's why recently even this parliament enacted the law to allow them to have representation in all local governments and in the parliament. If this August House would join me, people like Moses are even needed to be elected unopposed. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Outside there, we run around a lot. I just imagine that my deputy speaker will now not be burdened by making a lot of movements because he will be seated there in the chair. <laughs> he is a lawyer, and this speaks a lot about him. He went to school back, he went back to school as an old man. You cannot underrate such a person. And you see, we have never had a lawyer from Western Nile. That will also be a good thing as we look forward to regional balancing. Mr. Speaker, I want to end on this note. Point of order. Now order for what? Right Honorable Speaker, my name is Alioni Odria, Member of Parliament at Ringa South Yume. Right Honorable Speaker, is this Parliament a house of actors? Is Madame Honorable uh, numbers in order to tell this parliament that General Moses Ali is the first and ever only lawyer from West Nile. Is she in order? Is she in order? Supplementary, Hon Honorable, right Honorable Speaker, I want to thank Honorable Nambozo, Namboze for nominating General Moses Ali. However, Honorable Speaker, it is of great insult to the people of West Nile for Honorable Numbers to insinuate that Honorable, Honorable, Right Honorable General Moses Ali is the first lawyer from West Nile. I can mention a few. Late Right Honorable Speaker Ayume was a seasoned lawyer in this country. 
Irene Obonji is a seasoned lawyer in this country. Is she in order therefore to, to insinuate and insult the people of West Nile? I hold a master's degree. We don't all have to be lawyers. Right, Honorable Speaker. Is she in order? Honorable members, I think we can we can leave it there now. Can I rule? Can I rule? And not further? Can I rule on the matter, honourable members? You apologise. <laughs> Can I rule on the matter? <laughs> honourable members, the facts have been stated that have existed from that part of the country, including the late Francis Ayume, who was actually Speaker of the House. The facts have been laid, so the statement is wrong to the extent that you refer to General Lee as the first lawyer from that region. And honorable member, given the uniqueness of your motion, I'm going to use my prerogative to verify whether you have had consultations with your nominee, and if you can confirm, then we can proceed with your further justification of the motion. Mr. Speaker, I want to confirm with him. It only, it only shows that the speakers are dragged into the chair. <laughs> no, our rules say he must consent, so I'm going to bring up his consent forward because our rules now say he should consent, she should consent. But right, Honorable Speaker, Can I ask the Honorable. I uh, want to apologize. What I meant to say was that was not that Honorable Moses Sal is the first person to be a lawyer. I was talking about first person to be a speaker, but I've been given information by my dear colleagues who are here. And I wonder what type of people are those. You represent an area. I come here to ask Ugandans to vote for your own, and you come here putting me on order. Why? Honorable, I have already guided on this matter. Generally, Honorable, I bring this consent forward before we finish with the justification of the motion. My second is here, right on Honorable Speaker. You would not be your second. The microphones are there, General. I just want to confirm that you had consultation with your nominee. Thank you. As a human being, I must thank Madam Honorable Ambose for what she had come out of her. If she didn't say what she said, I wouldn't have known that some people are thinking about me. Now that she has come out, I would have wished she had a courtesy to consult me. But she honestly, she's here, she can be confirmed. I've worked hard like any of you. I've been nominated. Madame Lambos is aware, so that I am also aware these things are happening. I'm also a participant. I would have wished myself if I wanted to be, then I would have asked her to nominate me. But since I did approach her, up to now, when she surprised me, <laughs> all the same, I want to thank her. 
But I think uh, I know my colleague, you have been working together in the house. I don't want to impute a bad motive. I wouldn't do that because she had not uttered it. To save time of the house, I regret this offer. And I think once again, my honorable madam, that I decline the offer. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any further nomination? Thank you very much, my father, Moses Sali. We really love you. And I know one day. Any further nomination? Right Honourable Speaker, I am Junior B Tech, Member of Parliament, Kyoga Constituency, on the Forum for Democratic Change Ticket. I rise and rules five and six read interchangeably to nominate Honourable Mohammed Segirinya for the position of the pity chair. Okay, would you like to speak to your motion? Like I did say, I represent a minority political group in the House, the Forum for Democratic Change, that has great connection with the National Unity Platform, where Honorable Mohammed Segirinya does come from. Members of this August House, Segirinya is a young man that mimics the age group that is prevalent in this house. Segirinya is a disabled individual that has become the same as a result of the impunity that has been perpetrated by the system. Right honorable members, electing Segirinya Muhammad would be a reflection and would be a protest to the powers that be. It is upon such grounds that we elect a man from the Oi Poloi. And should we do this in this house, we should have, we must demonstrate that we have risen beyond threat, we have risen beyond the expectations of material gains, and we have restored the parliament to the people. I've always told my people that the voice of the people is the voice of God. And indeed, Segirinya would be the master of the Vox Populist Vox Day. It is upon such grounds that I heard right honorable members that Mr. Update, the right honorable would make a very good speaker in tangent to the manner that he reflects the minimum qualification that was provided by the UC Universal Secondary Education. He reflects the societal strata that we have in the country. And should we do this, right honorable speaker and the house at large, we would have fulfilled our noble constitutional obligation. Thank you. Is there a second to the motion? Right, our speaker, my name is Gilbert Olanya, the member of parliament for Kilak South in Amoro district. Right, our speaker, I rise to second the nomination of Honorable Mohammed to be the deputy speaker of the parliament of the Republic of Uganda. I beg to move. Thank you very much. Right Honourable Speaker, I beg your indulgence. Yes, please. I'm speaking on behalf of Honourable Mohammed Segirin. As you are aware, Right Honourable Speaker, Honourable Mohammed Segirin has been indisposed for quite some time. Much as he is present, he is fairly unwell and unable to speak for himself. 
He has sent me here to decline the nomination. I beg to move. Thank you. I'm called Mamawi James, Member of Parliament for Jumani East Constituency. Right Honourable Speaker, after a long list of nomination of members for the position of Deputy Speaker of the 11th Parliament, I rise up here to close the nomination for the position of the Deputy Speaker of the 11th Parliament. I beg to move.